fairly similar packaging to the previous uh, A7 line, all of your documentation here. We've got the uh, A7 camera strap, doesn't say anything about A7 II, it's just the A7, general A7 line camera strap. And then we'll have the camera body here. This is the, the actual kit. I did opted to go with the lens uh, as well, just because the price of the lens um, was, uh, was so good that it would come with this kit. So I went and opted for the lens as well. Um, so let's go ahead and pull that out. And then we also have the lens hood. All right, so we'll go ahead and wrap this stuff back up and put it in here. Now, um, underneath this little section where the camera strap was uh, is our battery and our charger. It also comes with that wall adapter, which I found extremely useful. Uh, the wall adapter allows you to um, charge your camera through USB. So that is it. That is what's in the box. So let's go ahead and push the box off to the side. So um, I didn't even actually end up using this with my previous camera. Um, I just used my pre-existing cables that I use for my cell phone charger. So um, those are still fantastic and they uh, work really well, but I just used what I had existing. Um, so the camera feels a little bit bigger than um, the uh, A7S and, and I've used an A7 uh, before and this seems a little bit bigger. One of the notable differences is the grip um, is a lot larger uh, which feels a lot better considering these are such small cameras. Um, and then the relocation of your shutter button right here which of course is going to make it feel a lot more like a DSLR camera feels as opposed to um, a point and shoot which uh, before it had the shutter button up here and the power button. So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and throw the battery in it. Um, battery slides right into the base and uh, and then what's a little bit different here is that your SD card is going to slide into the side of the camera as opposed to the back of the camera like it did before. Pop the lens on there and we're ready to go. Let's power it up. All right, so now we've got our basically, you know, set up the camera modes uh, that we would go through. So pretty decent little camera. Um, I'm excited to get out and start shooting and to see how the uh, AX, 5 axis uh, stabilization works inside the camera. That's one of the features that I'm most excited about. Um, other little differences are uh, the fact that the, um, the ports were moved up. Now they're up top. Um, and they, uh, the doors pop off a little bit differently than what we we're used to or what I'm used to with the A7S um, as opposed to them just opening up. They now kind of flip and pop out of the way and can kind of be rotated out of the way and probably even removed completely if um, you're more of a video shooter and you need a lot of access to those ports. So um, very cool. The A7 II. Uh,